The FL Studio Fruity Slicer allows you to slice up any kind of audio material and align the slices to your project's tempo grid. This means that you can easily import beats created at another tempo and stretch them to your project's tempo. The Slicer plugin will detect beats and transients of an imported audio file and allow you to access the slices from the piano roll. Open a beat slicer channel by selecting Channels, Add One, Fruity Slicer in the menu, or right click a channel in the step sequencer, select Insert Channel, Fruity Slicer. Or, if the loop that you want to slice is visible in the browser, right-click the sample name and select Open in New Slicer Channel. The slicer can open any WAV, Recycle, Rex, RCY and RX2 files. Or, if you have previously sliced the file using the Beat Slicer or Beat Creator standalone program, you can import the ZGR Groove file created by either of these programs. To bring a file into the Beat Slicer, click on the Open and Slice Up Sample button. Notice under the file type box you can select virtually any kind of FL Studio file including MP3, drum synth, sim synth, speech files and a multitude of others. If the file has slice points defined in another program, then Fruity Slicer will use these by default. Otherwise, Fruity Slicer will automatically slice the file and lay the slices out in the piano roll. At the top of the slicer window you can see the original BPM the Fruity Slicer has calculated for the file as well as the number of beats. If this is incorrect, then you can adjust those values manually. Next to the Open Sample button is the Slice Up button. This gives you options as to how your sample is sliced. If your sample has predefined slice points, then the Use Sample Built-in Slicing will show. This will occur by default. Underneath are the Auto Slicing options, Dull, Medium and Sharp. These use predefined threshold settings to determine the slice points in the audio. They correspond to rough, normal and fine slicing respectively. Beneath them are options for slicing your audio without any kind of beat detection. These work well if your audio is in perfect time, i.e. 16th notes, or you want to apply rhythmic slicing to a sound that has no rhythm, example a sustained pad sample. Adjust the setting to fit your material, i.e. if the timing of your material is just beats or quarter notes, then set the slicing to beats. If it's 16th, then set the slicing to one quarter beat. If you find after adjusting any of these beat slicing algorithms you're getting clicks in your sound, then select zero cross-check slices at the bottom of this menu. And Fruity Slicer will quickly analyse the slice points to make sure they only occur at zero crossing points in the audio waveform. All changes you make to the slicing algorithm used will update automatically in the piano editor as long as you have the auto dump button on. If you want to edit the audio in even more detail than what is available in the Fruity Slicer, select open beat slicer. Beat Slicer will open with your audio file and allow you to use its functionality to edit your slice points. Once you have completed editing in Beat Slicer, save the file. Then back in FL Studio, re-import the file into the Beat Slicer dialog. You can add slices directly inside the Fruity Slicer plugin as well. Here I have a loop that has no slices in it whatsoever. If I right click in the Slice Details window at the point where I want a slice to occur and then select Split Slice, a new slice is created. I can carry on going through the groove adding slices by repeating this action. And if I then want to remove a slice, then I can once again right click in the Slice Details window and select Remove Slice. Next to the Slice Up Sample button is the Dump Beat to Piano Roll button. Here you have a variety of preset options you can use to alter the playback of your sliced audio. Experiment with them all to familiarise yourself with what they do. The random and crazy presets will apply random changes to the playback of the slice groove every time you select them. You can use these to quickly build up a variety of random grooves and separate patterns in the step sequencer. Once again the new beats will automatically be placed in the piano roll as you alter them. To the right of the slice button is the pitch shift slider. This will increase or decrease the pitch of all slices. And next to that is the fill gap slider. This is particularly useful for when you are using a loop recorder dramatically different tempo to the project tempo. The fill gap slider will eliminate the stuttering effect that naturally occurs in this scenario by lengthening out the end of the slice to the start of the next one if the project tempo is slower than the original tempo, or alternatively, shortening the length of the slice for faster tempos. Next to the fill gap slider are four mode buttons that allow you to choose what algorithm Fruity Slicer will use for stretching the audio. The first two modes are similar to those used in earlier versions of Fruity Slicer, and the second two use the new elastic stretching mode introduced in version 5. To the right of these are global sliders that affect the attack and decay of all slices in the groove. The de-click button applies a very small fade to the end of each slice. Use this if you are getting click or pop artifacts. 
Below the sliders is the audio display along with the slice points. Clicking on any slice will show it in the slice properties window above. This shows the slice number as well as the MIDI key that triggers it. You can also reverse the selected slice by clicking on the Rev button. Below the audio display is the Animate button. This will animate the slices to show you which ones are being played back. And the Play to End button will play each slice to the end of the loop for as long as the note is held. The dials to the right affect the threshold values used to define the auto beat slicing of a loaded loop. Moving these will cancel any previous settings you have made in other parts of the beat slicer. The Fruity Slicer really is a marvellous tool for generating limitless variations in your loops very quickly. When combined with the tools in the piano roll such as randomize as well as the standard editing capabilities, you have a very powerful method of injecting new life and energy into old loops. <laughs>